The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. C5 controls the central d4 square. C4 gains space in the center and the queen side, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Takes back. This prepares the bishop for development. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This threatens to win a pawn. And c3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. Nxd4 captures the knight on d4 and forces qxd4 from white, after black plays bg7, there may be tricks against the queen on d4. qxd4 recaptures the knight and pins the knight on f6 to the rook on h8. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Qd2 retreats the queen, avoiding any discovered attacks from black's dark squared bishop on g7. b6 develops the bishop toward the center and attacks the c4 pawn. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a queen. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is the last book move. 